Hello, my name is Luana. I was asked by quite a few people if I would make a tutorial on how to do the lunch totes. So since I've been teaching myself how to do reels and how to do videos and edit videos, I thought that I would get up at 11 o'clock at night and decide to try it. So here we go. If you were to buy the template, this is how it would come. This is the original right here has a little bit of denim up at the top. But I altered mine because I wanted to see more of the denim. I'm gonna use a different girl this time, but I wanted to use more of the denim, so I cut part off. And then I, well, I cut it in half, and then I used the top part, stretched it up some, and then and then attached it back. I grouped it back on. And um, I'm just gonna use this girl just for a different look this time. I'm gonna use her or not, because she's kind of fire. I kind of like her hair. So maybe I'll use her instead. Let's ungroup this. And I'll put her right here. Well, I'm gonna put her over. I want her a little bit closer to the to the coach sign. And bring her down just a tad, because I don't want her up there. So she's about. Hmm, let's see. How much did I have? I had it kind of. Well, right underneath. Her hair is kind of bigger up top, so it probably looks like. And then I just stretched her out just a tad because I wanted to be, I wanted to be noticeable. And let me see. Do I want to move her over a little bit? Yeah. Okay. I took a picture of my tote bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace it. I work in silhouette, so I don't know how the other programs work. I'm not a professional in silhouette by no means. I just get it done and I'm going to trace the outer edge. So now that I traced it, I have basically a template. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my original. Come on, come on. And I'm going to paste it in front. Now that I can't see, <laughs> I'm going to make it a little bit darker so, I, so that you can see the lines. Maybe it's red already, but I'm going to just bring it up a tad. So this is 11, the bag is 11.8 by 11.8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 11.8 by 11.8. Now I'm going to take my 12.5 by 12.5 template and I'm going to bring this down just inside and see where I want basically the bag to be. I can bring it up. I can bring it down. I can have, I mean, if I want it to be, say like I want these just a little bit over, maybe I want to see them. I may, I might be able to see it. I might not. I'm not really worried about whether or not I see it, but I can always take it all the way out so that they're not even in the in the template, as you can see. So if one's not in there, we definitely want to take the other one out. So we're just going to move it out a little bit. Don't really need it. It's not going to do anything. And as you can see, the way I designed it, the lady will be inside the bag when I put when I put it on. When I, I'm sorry, when I turn it over and put the paper on, I will put this in the, put the bag in the middle and she should fit inside here because that's the way I have it. I can also, um, sorry, I didn't realize the camera moved. What I was saying was after I made this 12.5 by 12.5, I made this template 11.8 by 11.8 and I put it right smack in the middle of the bag and I just, you know, I measured, not measured, but I put the, the girl right where I wanted her. So basically when she comes down, it will be, um, she will have, I can just say, okay, I can pull it down some. You just got to like kind of wing it. I can pull it down, but if I pull it down, then her legs are going to disappear. So what I would do is I would just ungroup that and bring her up just a little bit because you do still want to have some overhang on the side just so that you know you make sure that you get your whole bag in there so 
now that I got it exactly where I want it, I mean, I know where she is on here. I'll just move the template out the way, group it together. <laughs> when my mouse lets me group it together, group it together. And, okay, I duplicated that. That was slow. Okay, I can move this out the way. But I basically just grouped it together. And I'm gonna make sure this is 12.5 before I got it up here. It When I stretched it out, I changed it. So it's 12.5. The bottom part, I you know, you can make it 12.5, but if you make it just a little bit, um, let me send this to the back. Longer, it won't matter. You just need to make sure that your whole template is in side and you have a little extra room down the bottom so that you can have some overhang and up at the top so that you can have some overhang for your your template so basically I can bring it down and I'll still see part of her jeans I won't have to worry and the two gold buttons or whatever you want to call the denim snaps will not be in the picture so I'm going to print this right now and then we're going to press it well this is the tote bag that I got from Johnson Plastics Plus and they're 11.8 by 11.8. Here is the foam that I got from Joann's. It just says high density foam. And this is what I used to put in between when I press it. What I did was cut out the foam into the shape of the bag. <laughs> well, kind of the shape of the bag, but you get the idea. And this was because I didn't put paper, so some ink was on it from another one. But this is what I did. I basically cut it comes with two in a pack and i cut one up and made it into the shape oh what's on here we're gonna put this inside the bag which is so much fun but here we go because i've watched a whole bunch of videos and i get what people are saying but they just seem to never show this part they be like yeah put it in there and then you press it so i made it the size or well, it could be a little bit big it's well, it could be a little bit bigger. It could be a little bit smaller. I'm not really sure. I just made it and it fit and I was happy. But basically stuffing it in the bag. Oh, I guess if I would have unzipped it, I probably wouldn't have been having so much trouble. But there's the two flaps. There's a flap in the back. This is black on the back. It's the best thing. Nobody wants to do double-sided. And so... And the flap in the front. What you want to do is put this green foam. You want it in the first and the front flap. And you want to push it down as far as you can push it down. And smush it into that flap right there. And then, I don't know if you can see, but kind of make it even on both sides. And kind of looks even there. So, what we're going to do is... Get some paper. I look crazy right now, so I'm trying not to get in the camera. And and the other time, all my stuff is sitting right here. Ha, now I see what these people be talking about when they go to do their video. And this tape is sitting on this dead one table this whole time except now well while i found some scissors let me cut off the bottom they don't have to but so as you see like she really isn't at the bottom of my paper so that'll give me a little bit just in case she goes down into the black until the blue goes into the black part of the bag and okay like this is really fun give me a moment and let me go find my tape okay what's even more special is the limp roller was underneath the phone 
that I threw over there on the side. So, I'm going to let roll it really well. That's a good thing. Nice to let roll these too because they don't crunch up. I'm gonna get our paper and like that. Let me get a piece of butcher paper. I'll put it on this way when I move it. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna make sure that they are, it's kinda even on both sides, all right? Making sure, cause I done moved it around, that my phone is deep down in this bag in every little nook and cranny crevice. So that it will get Feels like it's in there. It's in there. I'll just make sure. Okay. Then I'm just gonna turn it over. Like I said, if you can see, I don't know. I don't want to lift it up. The two points. Remember, I was talking about the two dots. They're not anywhere near. So this way, I don't have to worry. And the bag is right here. The black is right here. So. And I bring it down. This is the black. I'm just going to move it up just a tad because I want to make sure that I have room up here So by the handle. So I can always move it up some. And no matter how much I move up, her jeans are still going to be in there. And I just actually want to make sure that it's kind of even. I don't think it's and straight. And... That looks about even and straight to me. And probably I'm not gonna move it down any because when it flattens, it's gonna go on. So now I'm just gonna tape some big old pieces of tape. Just to make sure it's on there. The paper's gonna be curling up because I'm over here trying to really like smash it down with the tape okay i was gonna start over but you know what i didn't put the paper on the inside of the bag so it won't get on my phone but that's neither here nor there and we're just gonna tape it down really good with some big old big old pieces of tape Smash it down a little bit, and we're gonna move over to the heat press. Okay, we want to make sure that this is extra tight. Okay, we just made sure that the heat press is extra tight. It's on 390 for 60 seconds. I didn't show the part where I was putting it down, but basically showed you how to put the, the cushion in, how to put everything, you know, tape it down to the paper. Everybody know how to put it on the heat press. The heat press is extremely tight. So you can see that, you know, it has space underneath there, but it you need it to flatten that piece out so that it flattens against all of the paper. So we shall see when we open this up, if I messed it up on camera because I was showing somebody or if it came out perfect. So. This is my process of making the, the lunch tote. Getting ready. Are we ready, guys? I think we are ready. And we are ready. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. But because I taped it down to the paper. Let's see. Remember, I taped it down to the bag. 
All right, here we go. And this is how she looks. And you know what? Let's take it out. Oh, uh, hold on. Taking a And this is how she turned out. She's looking like her partner over there. She's a little big on there, but she came out perfect. I'm sorry, I'm moving all around. She's looking like her sister bag. And that's the one that we did tonight. And if you think that down the part is messed up, that's part of her jeans where her leg is. So, yeah, it came out perfect all the way around.